on behalf of 24HourAnswers.com, I welcome you to today's lesson. In this video, we're going to look at an introductory example to perimeter and area of a rectangle involved with optimization. Optimization in calculus, oftentimes you're trying to maximize or minimize something. And in this example, John has 100 feet of fencing to make a rectangular pen for his dogs. What is the maximum area of the rectangular pen that John can make? I have three examples of rectangles using 100 feet of fencing. The black rectangle you see here, 40 plus 10 plus 40 plus 10, that is 100 feet of fencing around that rectangle. The area of that rectangle is 400 square feet, 40 times 10. This red one here, again, we have the same perimeter, 30 plus 20 plus 30 plus 20. The area of that rectangle is 600 square feet. And then this blue one here, 49 plus 1 plus 49 plus 1, we have a perimeter of 100 feet. The area of this rectangle is very small, 49 square feet. So there's a bunch of different rectangles that we can make. And it turns out, when you use all four sides for an optimization problem, the biggest area is actually going to end up being a square. Now, that's a big giveaway to this problem, but the biggest area we're going to be able to get is actually a square where we have 25 feet on all four sides, giving us a maximum area of 625 square feet. But I want to show you how to do that using calculus. So I have a generic rectangle drawn here such that its length is x feet and its width is y feet the perimeter of this rectangle will be 2x plus 2y. Maybe you are familiar with 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. We're just taking 2x's plus 2y's. However, we can be a little bit more specific with this. If we add up all four sides, we know that that's going to be equal to 100 feet because that's how much fencing John has. So this equation right here, the perimeter equation, is going to be helpful in a minute when we go to actually find the maximum area. 100, that's the perimeter, is equal to 2x plus 2y. Now we also have another equation that we want to use as well. The area of this rectangle is length times width, or we can take x times y. This is going to be the formula that we want to optimize. And in this case, we want to find the maximum area. But before we do that, let's take the x and the y. You know, we don't want to differentiate both of these variables. So let's use the perimeter equation to get a variable by itself, and then we're going to substitute it into this area formula. Then we'll find the derivative. Then we'll set it equal to 0. Then we'll be able to find our maximum area. So taking my area equation and sliding it over here to the side, let's get x by itself. It does not matter which variable you get by itself here. So what I've done here is I've subtracted 2y to the left-hand side, and we can divide everything by 2 to get x by itself. Therefore, we have 50 minus y is equal to x. So let's take this x equals 50 minus y. Let's substitute it into this x in our area equation. Now let's distribute. And what you'll notice that we have here, the area of this rectangle is actually a quadratic function. We have a y squared. Again, it could have been x squared or y squared here. And if we think of this in terms of x squared, if we had a parabola, this thing would be opening down because the leading coefficient is negative. That implies right there that we're going to have a maximum. Whenever the leading coefficient of a quadratic function is negative, you're going to have a maximum because that parabola is opening down. Let's find the derivative. a prime is equal to 50 minus 2y. And let's set this derivative equal to 0. This is what you're going to be doing with a lot of optimization problems. You're going to be finding a derivative of some function, and you're going to be setting it equal to 0. So setting our a prime equal to 0, we can subtract 50 and divide by negative 2, giving us a y value of 25. Now that we know what y is, we can take y equal to 25. 50 minus 25 gives us an x value of 25 as well. So what I did there is I went back to one of my original equations. You could have went all the way back up here to this, but since you already got x by itself here and you figured out y was 25, 50 minus 25 gives you 25. Now let's make sure we answer the question. The question did not ask what are the dimensions of the rectangular pen. The question says what is the maximum area? And I gave this away at the very beginning of the problem. I said the maximum area of a rectangle is actually going to end up being a square. Granted, you are using the fence on all four sides. 
That's very important to understand because sometimes you may be building a fence up beside a creek or you may be using the side of a barn for one of the sides of your rectangle. You will not have a square there. But since we were using all four sides here, we can take the X times the Y to find our maximum area. So 25 times 25, I mentioned this earlier, and this is 25 feet times 25 feet. Our maximum area is 625 square feet. Now the next video that you'll see in this line of videos will be another problem dealing with a rectangle, but we're gonna use maybe the side of a creek or the side of a barn or something for one of our sides of our rectangle. We're not gonna be putting the fence there because we're gonna be using something else for the side of that pen or that pasture or whatever it may be. These are classic calculus optimization problems. These are the introductory ones. They do get quite complex later on down the road, but we'll take it step by step in these next series of videos. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Links to our social media are in the description below.